say it's not a pocket. Yeah. There's no pockets in those. How are you supposed to have pants with no pockets? It's ridiculous. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Atomic Mass Transmissions Live. It's Tuesday. It's 1 p.m. That means we're going to be doing some painting today. Um, and I'm not Mr. Wilshick. I'm Dallas. So I'm painting today. I took it over. Um, and we are going to be painting up the Crashed X-Wing Terrain Set. Um, I have some makeup brushes. And I'm going to uh, use a technique taught by one of my mentors, the paint smash. It's a, we're literally just going to, someone's looking at me like, what? And I'm like, we're literally just going to smash paint on here. It's going to be a blast. I'm going to try to paint the whole thing in an hour. Minus details. I think that's, I think that's pretty reasonable, right? Yeah, I think that's pretty reasonable. I think it's pretty reasonable. We'll see what happens. So let's kick it to the mini cam. And let's get paint. New scenario, yeah. New scenario. All kinds of new stuff. New fun stuff. Next week. I don't know what next week's streams are. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. They seem pretty good, right? I think so. I'm excited for next week's streams. So I literally just got a big old brush here and I got some grays and some tans and some whites and some blacks and some browns. And I'm just gonna start mashing paint on here. And the goal here is to go very, very fast and create a lot, a lot of texture. Um, we've talked before on streams how we like, um, you want a lot of variation and texture on terrain. It makes it look more alive, lively, living, um, and such. I'm just gonna get a bunch of that paint off there. And we're just mashing it on. We're gonna layer this up. We're just going to build layers upon layers upon layers here. You can dry brush across the gribble so we can keep some of that black in there. Doesn't matter if it gets on the rock. We're going to paint smash the rocks as well. And if the rock color gets up on the hull, that's just weathering. That's just freeweather.com. <clears throat> Does the next wing have airbags? We hope. For the sake of all those poor pilots that get downed in the next wing. Yeah, this is a big chunk of terrain. This this takes a big area of your board. Um, if anybody knows the stories, I am a I love terrain. I am a big lover of terrain for my miniatures games. They add so much narrative and story to the game that and what you're trying to accomplish. And I also like it when terrain asks me questions. So I like, I like terrain that, that goes, this is difficult to deal with because that makes me think about my play style, it makes me think about my strategy, it makes me think how I can have the train ask my opponent that same question or a harder one. So I love a good terrain piece that just ask a lot of bold questions of the players. First layer is pretty heavy. Customizable options for the uh, for for the for this X-wing. Uh, there's not really any customizable bits. But I forgot my pilot. 
my pilot is actually in the other room. Uh, totally forgot to grab uh, grab her up and bring it. I was just going to try to smash this paint job out real quick. Can I get it on the table in time for my Star Wars games? My home Star Wars games. Now when I did mine, um, when, I, when I put these pieces together, I went ahead and added a touch of, um, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Added just a touch of um, pumice to around the where the the hole where the or the wreckage in the rocks meet to kind of blend that together. Um, it's completely unnecessary. You don't have to do it. I just like the look of it. It adds a lot of flavor. Who's the best X-wing pilot? Like in game or just in general? I mean, the best pilot is Anakin Skywalker, right? Mash. I love texture. Love seeing texture. Bang, bang, bang. Like playing a jaw harp. So all these little splitches and splatches going in all these different directions is going to add a lot of variation to the color. Wedge, wedge and tillies, y'all. Best non-force sensitive pilot. No love for Porkins. Oh, I'm totally off it now. You're you're just. I'm gonna just extend the energy. You got yeah. I gotta pick that up. Sorry. No, no, no. You're you're. No, no, no. She says. <laughs> Somebody's tuning their horn. Hollow. Yeah, it's hollow underneath. Get a little cream. I mean, we all love bigs, right? Look, being shot down just left room for somebody else to be become the best. You're always the best till you're not. I don't, I don't, it, uh, the, the, the best, the best, everything's always the best. Some things are just different and good and good because they're different. The best is like dry land, it's a myth. Lots of different directions, circles, swirls, mash. Just try and get a lot of texture and light and pop all those details out. I don't care if it's streaky. Once we once we add some weathering and stuff to it, the streaks actually help sell the effects a little bit better sometimes. It's it's terrain, right? It's it's there to tell a story and set the scene for your games. This is gonna be a little rough.
The poor astromech. Yeah, that poor astromech got it. There's definitely no. There's definitely no airbags uh, in the uh, for the astromech. He got just jettisoned. They just got jettisoned. I'm going to avoid this side. That side's darker because it's in shadow. Mash a little up in there. Get the microphone on this. It's like uh, some ASMR painting here. Astromex needs see, but well, I mean, I figure all Astromex, not all Astromex, some of them just fly. Like, I, I figure if R2D2, like R2D's, man, they, that's what they need to do. Go back, go back to uh, when Luke crashes on Dagobah and just have R2 be like, nope, Audi, and just uses, uses his little jets to just blast off before uh, the X Wing hits the swamp. That'd be great. Just, just like, I'm gonna let this fool crash. He's 19, he doesn't know what he's doing. Or he's like, I'm not risking my life. I always say whatever, whatever you and your opponent decide on is my opinion. I don't, I don't know. Maybe maybe the devs have a more specific term. I like to discuss my terrain before each game with my opponent. How would you like to treat this? You know, miniature gaming is a communal and social thing that construct that we all have to agree on and you know the goal is to make it make it fun for each participant I don't have a I don't have a do I have a legion miniature in the studio right now looking around I have a I have a I got Shake paint this on stream, right? Yes. Yeah. Let's do a little Astro Mech. I think one more highlight. A little bit more of that cream color. I like that cream. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big chunky set. And just the, the little kiss of that cream color. Adds a little warmth. Um, if you notice, like X wings tend to be a little warm. And you can, I mean, you can paint however you want. I'm just going with sort of, sort of stock look here. Whereas like Empire ships tend to be a little on the cool side with their with the color palette. So 
So I want that little bit of warm gray going on here. And the actual color won't really matter once we start weathering it up and all that. That's pretty good. This poor Astro Mech. Empire ships are just cool. Yeah, I like Empire ships. I, I, I mean, I like, I like a lot of the Scum ships too. I think the Houndstooth is probably my favorite of the Star Wars ships. It's just a funky, weird design. More cream. This is the big old makeup brush here. That's too much. Use the side, clean that up. There's barely paint on this brush, right? You can see here. TIE Fires are just engines with guns. It's true. Just strap some blasters to an engine, put a cockpit in it, call it a day. That's a TIE Fighter. Did I mispronounce Hound's Tooth? Because I said Tooth? The hound's tooth. Get all that paint off. And the more lighter layers of dry brushing and stippling and scribbling and scrabbling you do the more that blends together like I said I don't care too much about the blending of it together we're gonna use some probably some washes and stuff to weather it and tie it really tie it all together so we're just blocking in some color really yeah they're they're hollow on the bottom Uh, any issues with warping on the pieces? Uh, the ATST was a different material. I forgot I had gloves. So these these are really flat. This is a, this is hard plastic. Um, so they tend to not warp. of a blue and black we're going to do just a thin wash not get too carried away here. Just to bring out some of those lines that we lost. I'm gonna 
Cannon might need a little realignment. What are we talking about? This is quickly reestablishing some of those darker areas. Just seeing where they kind of want to go. Once again, we can use like little imperfections of the brush to create some texture. On the wing, it's a little off center. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty messed up. So what happens when you make an emergency landing on an unknown system? Yeah, I don't have the cards in here, so no cards for me. I'm sure, as with all things, there's a plan, probably made by Summer and BK, about when and where each one of these lovely spoilers are going to happen. Would I assume correct, Summer? Yes. yes. It's crazy how that works, eh? Add a little bit more brown into this wash. Uh, I'm literally using my finger to kind of create texture. Kind of tapping and pulling. The old tap and pull. an old technique but it still checks out blue black brown water back in is that circles to base down the pilot in that I see what I'm sorry no show what If you want, you can totally find a spot on here to put the down pilot. I think that's what you're asking, but there's no actual spot for the down pilot. Um, that was talked about, but like just some measurements and um, the way objectives work, we wanted to keep the pilot kind of off the 
the terrain. Ooh, a little spoilery. Meep, meep. Blue, black, brown. Purple Ewoks. I'm sure once we start painting Ewoks, which we've painted a couple so far. I know I painted one. I think Simone painted one on stream. Is that right? I think we're Yeah, main extravaganza. We painted some Ewoks. I think Simone's was purple. Now I'm just using some of this blue, black, brown to put some streaking. Ones that look crashed. Using my finger to kind of stretch it out. Makes it more erratic. Just building up. Just building up colors, textures. Textures. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Yeah, you could totally, if you wanted to do a diorama or something, you could totally make a spot, like, probably right there. I think I think the little pilot will fit right there pretty good. Um, not, not too terribly. Let's get a smaller brush. A little more white, a little more cream. Using the side of the brush to kind of just flick along these edges just ever so lightly. Once again, I can tap, I can dap these little spots, a lot of texture. Even grabbing some of that brown black here and there and stretching it. 
all this is doing is just sort of reestablishing some of the light areas. I used to do classes at stream or at cons. Oh, what kind of classes would I even do? That's starting to look like an X-Wing, right? Am I planning on doing snowy terrain like the social image or something else? Uh, I got plans for something else because I think this kit has a lot of versatility and I got 30 minutes. And I think we're going to do something else. Just because we paint something one way doesn't mean you gotta. So we're going to do something a little different. I would love to see uh, somebody do one of these like uh, super overgrown, like almost ancient X-Wing. That'd be cool. Is it mold? Uh, so, fun fact: in miniature, you can get away with a lot of things. Uh, one of the things you can get away with is uh, painting something like mud that's supposed to be snow, or painting something like snow that's supposed to be mud. Uh, so, this sort of allows, you know, with the right paint application, you can you can make things look however you want, um, and that's kind of what we're going to do. You've seen the social image. Uh, of the Crash X Wing, it's all done in snow. This is this exact same uh, miniature um, that's in the social image. Um, I'm going to do some dirt, so I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it mine. I'm going to make it unique, um, and I'm going to go dirt. And I'm going to wait for that uh, that darn old wash to dry before I do some final highlights and some details. Uh, back to the big brush. This time I'm going straight in, uh, just a lot of brown, just pure browns. <laughs> I'm I've never missed pancakes. Oh man! Summer I took a trip this weekend and got pancakes at this little diner way up on the peninsula, and I was just like, I would like the half stack of pancakes. Because I was like, I'm not super hungry, I, but some pancakes sure would be nice. So a cup of coffee and half stack of pancakes. Now, half stack of pancakes, Summer, you're like thinking, that's not very much pancake, right? Well, I'm going to ask you, clarify what a half stack is. Well, it's not a full stack. What's a full stack? I, I, I think that it all depends on the restaurant, right? Like, okay. I've seen full stacks be four, five, or three. Okay. So it depends on the restaurant. And so usually half stack is not actually half. Because like this restaurant, a full stack was three and a half stack was two. There you go. Okay. So this was two pancakes. Those pancakes were the biggest bloody pancakes I've ever seen in my life. And they were thick. And the guy brought them out and he's, I'm like, oh. He's like, yeah, they're big. I was like, oh, I made mistakes. I made terrible mistakes. Oh. I, I, man, coastal diners, boy oh boy, sign me up. There's me a lot of paint here. Probably should have put something down. Like I said, at this point, it doesn't matter if this brown splashes up on the on the fuselage or anything. 
it doesn't matter. We're, we're going to utilize that brown and we can integrate it into the ship. And I'll go back and pick out, I'll go back and pick out these little panels eventually. But you just want to get, I'm just trying to get going. I'm trying to get a lot of work done in a very short amount of time. And I'm just blocking in, I'm, I'm basically just blocking in colors, right? Define and refine. Right now we're defining elements and shapes. We're defining form. Somebody coming in. Hello. Oh, there's the little pilot. I don't know if we're going to get to the pilot, but there's the pilot. Oh, is Tony actually watching today? Tony's usually like, I got too much stuff to do. Can't be watching you paint. I thought everyone would have been here, but I haven't been here. Just cover this. This doesn't matter. It's the bottom. Right, we'll go back through with a smaller brush to get closer and more controlled. Right now, we're just trying to get a ton of paint on the on the miniature. And if I don't feel confident, like with that brush, I'll just I'll just move and get and wait and do that part in a moment with a smaller brush. See, now I need to get a little closer with another brush. Also, like, real quick, use wet brush. See how I did that? Got it off the, uh, the ship itself and just sort of added it around Oh, that's a really stiff bristled brush. Ah, too much gray on that. I just keep reusing the same brush. Now see how I got all over the nose there? Use a the wet brush. Get some of that dirt color on there. Not 
too shabby. It's a little orange into our browns. Tan. How about tan? How do I... Oh, there's so many. Is X... Uh, yeah, there's new... Uh, well, it depends on... Define new cards. There's There are cards. There's scenarios. How do you keep from getting overwhelmed by detail? I don't. I just avoid. Like, you got, you got. It's like eating a. It's like eating an elephant. Do you know how to eat an elephant? Summer. <laughs> One bite at a time. Just kind of trust in the process, right? Just there's a stage many painters know called the ugly stage. You just kind of gotta let that happen. Like 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 I always say, refine, define, and refine. We're just defining parts right now. We're slowly refining it. We're going back, deepening areas, creating more space for stuff, richening colors. As I've said before, painting miniatures is the fine art of correcting one's mistakes. Last week I painted a uh, a K two S O, and we did some uh, some um, sponge weathering on it. And this X wing would be a good candidate for that as well. And we might do that. I mean, I don't know if we'll get to it today, but probably as I'm finishing it up, we'll sponge it and make those dark chips and stuff. I don't think I have any sponge on me. We're just going to slowly build this up. Probably use a bigger brush, actually, but I'm liking the texture that this little brush is giving me right now. Like I said, I'm not rushing the process. He's literally paying attention now. He brought sponge. <laughs> hey guys, X-Wing looks good. Thanks so much, Rocket Coheed. Uh, welcome, Sh Seeker. Thank you so much, as always. Uh, when to stop paying, that's hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, hubby and Seeker, like, that's, that's my thing. Like, I, I can get sucked in on just, like, I put on a movie, and it's just like, you can just keep dry brushing and washing and let the wash dry or blow dry it so you don't have to wait 
and then just keep adding layers and it just it's always going to look better and better and better and better and better it's just always going to look better um, and that's why we did sort of the path we took earlier on this cross x-wing with like those really sloppy paint mashing right technique is this like all that underneath layers of nonsense is what's what's building up to that final form right it's 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 creating those foundational elements for everything else to set upon and def and be defined by so it just adds visual interest to the eye to pick up let's do some we only got 10 minutes so let's do a little black blue Sponge. Is my head in the way? Yeah. Think about where where the um where the ground is going to hit. Where is the damage going to occur? Oh man, this, these paint bottles keep popping open. Um, think about how that damage has occurred to the ship, right? It's, it's streaking across, it's grinding into the ground. So the damage is going to be on the front edge of stuff. This side's gonna be more damaged. Tony brought me the biggest pieces. Boom. Take a regular brush. Just underneath some of those, those nicks, put a little highlight. You can even sponge the highlight on. I just want a little, little, couple of dots to pop out. We sort of lost our highlight. time aren't we
color squad markings. Out of time you just got here. That's not my fault. That's a good reminder that, hey, are you interested in seeing what we're up to? Check us out every Tuesday and Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's 1 p.m., Courtney, Pacific Standard, uh, here on Twitch for Atomic Mass Transmissions Live. That's where we hang out and paint and talk. But if you're interested in all the latest news information and announcements coming from Atomic Mass, you should check us out on uh, Twitter or Instagram. That's where that's where we uh, give all the news and all the updates, all the hot goss, as the kids are saying. Try and be more hip here with the hot goss. Bum, bum, bum. Blue squadron pilot with the matching blue jumpsuit to go scarif. Yeah, time is a myth. Yeah, it's like dry land. Kind of want to do orange or something for my stripes. I did pretty good for now. I think really, I think really two hours. I could really knock knock this thing out. I think. Wrong brush. What else do I need to talk about, Summer? Did I miss anything? I think I just keep dry brushing this brown and then we'll add... Game streams when? We just did game streams. Once a month? Twice a month. Well, well, once a month on the same week. Yeah, we got game streams are back. Uh, so is me putting my finger in paint. Oh man, that happens. That happens. Fine, I correct anyone's mistakes. I totally stuck my finger in the paint on the palette and then shoved it right there. Oh, oh man, that blue is actually the best color in the world for the. Oh, man, what? Where is this paint coming from? We need more game streams. We only got so many, we only got so many hours in a circular clock that's a nonsensical time allotment. But time is a nonsensical allotment. What? There is no game stream tomorrow. Oh, should I tell them that? Yeah, I guess you could let them know. There is no stream tomorrow. Sorry, if you were looking forward to that. Uh, everybody's out. So uh, we will not be doing a game stream or stream tomorrow. You got one this week, and it was a crashed X Wing.
So I kind of like that baby blue that I got, like splashed on my finger. I kind of feel like that's my color. Guys, I've lost my love to hobby. Any tips? Oh, what? You lost your love to hobby. Hmm. I think the best tip when you are feeling in a hobby rut is honestly to just hobby. Um, sometimes you just gotta. Sometimes you just gotta get back and. Uh, pick something out and just be like, okay, I'm going to paint this for one hour. And I'm just going to paint for one hour. And just see it come to a conclusion. Just try to paint something in an hour. Um, don't try to overthink it. Don't try to overdo it. Just, uh, just remind yourself why it is you love to paint. Um, you know, and it's okay to take breaks, but the, the, I find the bad thing, the bad thing about taking a break is just taking a break and just not doing any painting. To me, taking a break from painting is more like reducing the amount. Um, 30 minutes a day will change your life. Just sit down and give yourself 30 minutes. Be like, I'm going to do this for 30 minutes. Try a new technique. Um, Try speed painting, try, you know, try something uh, and just remind, remind yourself why you're, you're, you love it, right? Is it come pretty similar? Is there some, yeah, there's assembly required. It's a, it's, a, it's a hobby kit. It's a miniature hobby kit. I mean, we all we all love the hobby for different reasons, so it's okay if you need to be reminded why. Ah, I love this baby blue. I feel like summer's getting ready to come and cut me off. It's just baby blue. Look how good that looks on there. The base looks like a huge cookie. Oh man, it kind of does. I would take an oatmeal raisin cookie, as long as I know it's an oatmeal raisin cookie. The only time I don't like an oatmeal raisin cookie is when I think it's a chocolate chip. Like when you go to a party and you're eyeballing a cookie from across the room, you're like, oh man, that looks like a pile of chocolate chip cookies. And you go over and it's oatmeal raisin that's disappointing but if you're like looking over and you're like oh those are oatmeal raisin cookies I'm like yeah
I'm just going to start sketching some blue into the windows. These will need to be defined and all that as we go. Maybe I can make a sugar X-Wing like a Food Network Challenge. Oh, man. A gingerbread X-Wing? Man. Yeah, the Crash X-Wing is, I believe it's $100, correct, somewhere? Do you know? And it comes with, um, comes with some scenario. And a whole bunch of terrain for you to play and decorate upon your table because you gotta have terrain to play a game. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can totally just put this on your table. Tell a cool little story. Cool. I mean, to me, like I said, uh, you know, terrain is just as much a character of a miniature game as the miniatures themselves. And there's something about seeing, like, like somebody was talking about conventions earlier, right? And you, like, walk into a convention hall and somebody's playing... Somebody's playing a miniature game and it's just covered with terrain and just like, you know, like you walk in, you see the crashed X-Wing and, you know, it's got some buildings and there's a crashed ATST and, you know, it, it sets, that's, that's that eye catching thing that draws people over and like, it's like, it's like, that's the story. That's the world, right? Miniature games are, you know, you're, you, you get to live in that world of the miniature for, you know, a couple of hours and tell a story along with uh, your opponent. So it's, it's such an important part of the character of the miniature game and to set the scene and to draw in the eye and, uh, and remind you that it's, it's living and it's alive and you, you're participating in it. And uh, so terrain is so important, uh, so important for miniature games. And I, I love that we can bring some to the tabletop for you know, for all our games. Anyways, 205, I went over. So that's exciting. All right, Dan, three core release train scenario because that's a crash item. You're correct. Astute. But that's not always going to be the case. I'm just going to say that. It's not always going to be crashed. I work like five years in the future. I'm so far in the future. But crashed is fun. Look how fun that is. Okay, anyways. Check us out on Twitter and our Instagram for all the latest news, information, and announcements coming from Atomic Mass Games. And remember, every Tuesday and Wednesday, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you can check us out here on Twitch for Atomic Mass Game. Uh, Atomic Mass... Mm, take two. From the top. From the top. Uh, all the latest... Uh, Twitch, 1 p.m. Here, paint. Transmissions live. Thank you. you can just close it out. Just turn the cam camera off. I'm done. It's over. Say goodnight, Gracie.